in this problem, I want to find I of the system with a person on it. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is when this object is going to rotate, it is going to rotate about this point. So I have a rod rotating about this. So I'm going to have I of the rod at the end plus I of the person. Okay. Now, I of a rod about the end is one-third ml squared plus I of the person, which is just m, r, m of the person, right? That's mass of the rod times their distance from their square. Okay? And so all you have to do is add those up. Okay? Uh, if you want to put the numbers in and check for yourself, you should get 883 kilograms times meters squared. Okay? The big piece is you have to add the person plus the rod. You'll do that when you work on some of the homework problems. Okay? Now this problem says you may only see part two. If the rope snaps, what is the initial acceleration of the problem? Well, if the rope snaps, what forces are present? Okay? Well, let's go back and look at this as a free body diagram. Okay? We'll ignore the rope. So the first force, I have gravity on the person, gravity on the rod, Um, tension would not have to, if tension's not there, I don't have to have the hinge force. Uh, and also, it's going to rotate. That's my axis of rotation. Okay, there are forces present there, but I don't need to put them because we're going to look at um, which forces cause a torque. The only two forces that cause a torque are my two gravitational forces there. So, let's take a look and do our net force statement. So, torque net equals I alpha. Okay. So this is mass uh, oops. mass of the person times G times the person's lever arm plus mass of the rod times G times the rod's lever arm equals I of the system which we just solved times alpha. Okay. Now we should be able to solve the lever arm um, it tells me that the person is only one meter from the wall, so their lever arm is one. Okay. Let me plug the numbers in here so you, for you to see. Here's my numbers. Okay. Force of gravity of the person is mg, so 500. They're one meter from the wall. Uh, force of gravity of the rod, well, that's 1,000. And then the force of the gravity of the rod acts at the center of the rod, so 2.5. I we just found, so I can find alpha. Okay. Now... This isn't very exciting. But the interesting part, let's find A. Now remember, alpha times R equals A. Okay. So 3.4 times R. Now this is A at the tip, or we could find A at the person. Okay, let's see what we get. So at the tip, the R is 5. So the linear acceleration at the tip equals 17 meters per second squared. So if someone was trying to stand at the tip, this is going to accelerate faster because linearly we can only accelerate at 10. So the rod would drop away from the person if they were at the tip. But this person's not. This person is one meter. So for the person it would be alpha, which is 3.4 times 1 equals A. So A is also 3.4 meters per second squared. People fall at um, 10 meters per second squared linearly. So this rod only falls at 3 from that person, so they would not fall off of the rod. They would rotate down with the rod. Okay. The other part, though, it says just at the instant that it snaps because you'll notice here that the acceleration is going to change. Why is it going to change? Well, let me draw a couple of little diagrams for you. So, first off, the initial forces, okay, they are perpendicular. Right, let me do that again. Right, those forces are perpendicular to the rod. Right, this is the rod. Okay, so that's the most torque. Now, what happens as the rod gets this direction? Right, forces are still downward. Right? 
and these are no longer perpendicular, only some of the force is perpendicular. If the rod were all the way at the bottom, well, where are those forces? They are downward, so there's no longer any torque at that location, so you would have zero angular acceleration at that moment. So what happens is that your angular and linear accelerations uh, will decrease as it falls because you're getting less and less of a perpendicular force, so you're getting less and less of a torque. All right, our last problem before uh, you jump into your problems is in this one, what would you need to solve for the alpha of the two masses at the top? Okay. So what you have here is you have a pulley with a uh, mass being dropped. Uh, that string, which I can see here is wrapped around, uh, starts to spin and these two objects will rotate in a circle. Okay. So what causes them to rotate? Well that has to be a torque. Well what's causing this thing to rotate? Well that is that tension force. Well where does that tension force come? Well it comes from the force of gravity of this. Okay. Now, those are not equal because I know if I drop this, this would accelerate downwards. So I know that this tension is smaller than gravity because the force in the direction of the acceleration must be larger. So I need to solve that tension force. Okay. So I need FT. How do I get FT? Well, that's a net force statement. So I need the acceleration of that object linearly. Okay. Now, up to the top part, well, we know that's rotation, so I need to do a torque net equals I alpha. To find the torque, well, I still need that. Then I need the R. That is this little tube's radius. How far is that force from the axis of rotation? Okay. Uh, after that, I would need I of the system. Okay. Well, these are two point particles, so I could do... 2mr squared. Now this is a different r. The r that I need would be from the axis of rotation to there. So I need that distance or that r. Uh, lastly times alpha. Well that's what I'm looking for. So in this scenario I have two unknowns. Um, I don't know tension and I don't know alpha but Lastly, we can do A alpha times R equals A, and you're back to the same thing you do before. What I want you guys to do when you bring this in, I want you to have F net statement on this one. Okay. Uh, match it up to the torque net statement on the top, which I already gave you, and see what you can come up with um, for an ex uh, equation for A. What does A equal? Good luck on those. Good luck on the homework. Coming in earlier would always be better. Good luck.